Hey guys, Jay Price, I'm back with another video. And in this one, we're going to talk about Syncit. So we've been getting a lot of questions like, hey, what is Syncit? How is it different from Syncitrage? And we hope to, to answer most of those questions here in this video. So without further ado, let us get started. So Syncit, what is it? Basically, I do, and me and my team, we do a lot of manual sourcing. And so what does that mean? That's mean we're not sourcing from tactical arbitrage. We're not sourcing from lead lists, but we're actually going directly to the retailer's websites and, and uh, matching item up items up and attempting to, you know, figure out if they have an Amazon ASIN and, and, and if it's profitable or not. And so with Syncatrage, we're able to do that on a large scale uh, on the piggyback of BrickSeek uh, because they aggregate a lot of that data for us. Unfortunately, we limit the number of people on Syncatrage uh, using the Sync Lite and the Sync plan, um, the Sync Pro plans to 40 people. So um, we wanted to be able to still provide value, but we uh, also didn't want um, you know, synchrotrage leads getting um, uh, saturated and, and crowded, so we limit that. Uh, but on a side note, you can always go to synchrotrage.com. That's synchitrage.com. And join on our wait list and get signed up for that because as soon as the spot is open, then we'll shoot you an email and or call you. We might even call you and say like, hey, there's a spot open up. Do you want it? Here's how you do it. And we'll get you in there. Um, but Syncit is basically a way to help people who do manual sourcing or even even OA sourcing off of list or Syncitrage itself to um, get Keepa data. This is crazy, but get Keepa data that is on a product detail page, but it's not on Amazon or it's not on Keepa.com itself. And so I'll show you that here in this video. And right now it works with three websites. We plan on adding more websites like uh, Home Depot, Lowe's, Dollar General, stuff like that. But for right now, we got it working pretty consistently on these three sites, and I'll show you that here. Uh, so with Walmart, a lot of people don't know this, but if you go into the search bar and then hit clearance, it'll show you, this is crazy, keep this between you and me, it'll show you all of their clearance that they have that you can purchase online. So you can go to shop all clearance. Let's just look at some of this stuff. So the way I like to do it is I will just right click and I like to see that the, a great price price discrepancy between the two, um, but not always. If I think that something looks undervalued, looks underpriced, I might click on it uh, and we'll open that up. So we'll let those three load and let's look at the weed killer. So remember that weed killer was priced at 1098, but it said 5399, right? So you click on that and you're like, oh man, look at this. But boom, keep a data that loads right on the page. And you can see like this thing never sold for 5399, right? And 900 and something days, uh, this is never sold for 5399. I don't know where they're getting that price at, but this is not that item. And you can quickly kind of weed out, you know, some some contenders without even leaving the store page. You, this is all on the product page. And if you wanted to track this product, you could. Now, we're working on um, uh, being uh, uh, allowing users to um, track products collectively and then distribute that information. That'll come here soon. But for the main for the main time, you can do, you know, set up dynamic charts. You can do all kinds of stuff. Uh, let's look at these Expo markers. So it says 1344 was 2277 for a 12 pack. There's our dynamic keep a chart. We're looking at a year's data right now. It's look like it's uh, the stop tracking the sales rank is what this looks like, but it doesn't mean it's necessarily not selling. And we'll cover more of that in our keep a video um, when, we, when we put that out. But it looks like uh, at a high point, this was selling for about $28 at a low point, maybe 24. So you could probably, depending on how heavy this is, get in there and make four or five bucks, um, about almost a 50% ROI. Uh, so there's that. And there's these H2H chlorine strips. So you could see, right, 844, the highest this thing has been is 940. You're probably not going to mess with this. And, and it just allows you really quickly to weed out the uh, the bad from the good. So that was Walmart. And it works really well with Walmart. Most of our purchasing that we do online is with Walmart. Well, they're not the only ones. Target most of the major retailers have it to where this is a manual sourcing tip to where you can go to like their categories and search like clearance like target has right here and uh let's just do all clearance explore all now mind you it's only going to find the product if it is indeed a upc match if it's not it'll give you a notification that says hey 
this is not, you know, no UPC product found. And what that means, this is not that they can't find the UPC. It means they can't find a connected ASIN to that UPC. So if you still, you know, think that something is undervalued, I would highly encourage you to use um, AZ Insights 360 tool and then do a ter uh, text search on that product page and, and go that route. Uh, but we'll, we've we've covered that in other videos. We won't cover it here in this one. So I'm just going to go through and select some things that I think could be popular and underpriced. Um, or maybe some, uh, let's see. A lot of these aren't going to be in um, Amazon because they aren't like name brand stuff. Cat and Jack is a Target brand. But let's just look and see what we got. So we got Glad, Force Flex, and you can see this is what I was talking about. So there's no UPC product found. And we've gotten some feedback from some of our beta testers, and, we, and they said, hey, this is kind of hard to see. We're working on making that more apparent. But for right now, that's what we got. Let's see. All right, so we got some Dove. Uh, looks like $11.99. And uh, a pretty active chart. Depending on how heavy this is, yeah, you can see that the price is kind of tanked on this. Um, but I was going to say, depending on how heavy this is, if you can, you know, charge this 26 bucks and you're buying it for 12 you know, that may be something that you could work with. Uh, it looks like it is, I don't know how many comes in this pack, but yeah, you might be able to, to do something with this. All right. So then let's try this hefty and it looks like it got stuck on me. That's weird. Let's refresh the page again. This is uh, a brand new product uh, that we put out. We have not tested as much as we have, uh, the Synchrotron app itself. Um, this is weird. It's not loading the graph. I'd be interested to see what this UPC brought up. Um, I'll look into that. All right, let's do Coles now. So Coles is the same way. So if we go over here to categories, go on down to sell and clearance, and we're going to do shop all clearance. I like clearance stuff. And again, this is just a cool you know, way to do some manual sourcing. Um, or when you're just doing some regular OA sourcing, you can kind of have that double check when you're looking at the product page itself to get that Keepa data um, off of Amazon and onto the product page. So let's do, I'm not big in the shoes and clothes for OA. Um, let's do toys and games clearance. Let's see what we, what we got there. And let's just scroll on down. Uh, if you don't know, stay away from this brand right here. They, uh, they don't like to play games. I'll say that much. Uh, with I, when it comes to IP and uh, things like that. But Nerf is good. Hatchimals are good. Marvel is good. And maybe we're just looking for price discrepancies, but now I'm just trying to open up some links and see what we got. All right. So you, get, you can see, and this is, the reason why this is happening, uh, that the text looks like that, is because it's generated based off of the HTML that's already existing on the page. And so we just have to, put our own in there so we don't follow the, the lead of the page but that's what it looks like when it can't find the product and this is what it looks like when it can obviously you have your keeper chart it's going to default out to a year um, but to me that's uh, pretty beneficial to just to see what it does the time frame over a year so it's 1119 we can see this thing is pretty stable at that price um, it's not really going to do much leave much room for profit uh, this is 3709 marked down. Let's clear this out. I don't know if this if Coles does this for you guys where it tries to add things to the cart for you. Um, it's so frustrating. I can't figure out a way to turn it off. If you do, let me know if you figure one out. Um, but yeah, so 3709 during its heyday, right? Spider-Man came out during Christmas last year. Phenomenal movie if you haven't seen it already. Um, this sells for like 52. I don't know that there's much room for profit here. Uh, let's check out Blue's Clues. So no UPC uh, product found. And so I'll show you guys AZ Insights tool. Let's just say, you know what? This is Blue's Clues. It's getting popular again. I think this is this is an underpriced item and leaving room for opportunity. So AZ Insight has an amazing tool called um, Insight 360. So if you right click on it and you can see, so long as you have ASINs in, you'll have this tool, AZ, or Insight 360. Um, 
I guess I don't have it on this account, but it'll do, it'll do a text search for you. And so you can, it'll bring up uh, as if you were searching in Amazon, a list of results over here on the right hand side. And you can see, okay, this picture matches this click on it and say, Oh yeah, this thing is almost for 50 bucks. And even let you uh, put in your price and do some analysis that way. Super, super cool. So guys, that is sync it. Um, it's not limited. Any number of people can sign up for Sync It. It will never be limited. Um, and you can take advantage of some off Amazon Keepa data. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up at help at Have a good one.